Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we're playing Space Engineers. Today we're going to do some design. This episode is about um, yeah, building um, another uh, module. And we're going to build a, a module for the multi-purpose uh, utility vehicle that we were working in the last episode. I will show it to you and it's not this one. This one is the Deep Space Explorer and as its name uh, suggests is uh, a ship to go exploring and that means uh, that it's autonomous that means that it generates its own energy and um, yeah you can see that it has uh, those uh, solar panels and it also has um, uh, oxygen uh, hydrogen generator and um, yeah this this ship is um, i would like if if you could select your starting ship this is a, a perfect starting ship for example to um, start in the asteroids like mining asteroids and things like that it also has a um, um, survival kit and this is like the the traveling um, configuration as you can see at the back it has a a big um, engine for um, impulse and these uh, solar panels they extend uh, for this I, I use the the NASA mod uh, for the for the panels so it basically opens up like a, a flower yeah and then you can um, direct um, the panels toward the, the sun to get where's the sun here it's um, hidden right yeah I think it's behind the moon right now um, but yeah you got the idea yeah so uh, I used um, yeah armor thrusters and uh, NASA mod and this part is um, uh, unmergeable blocks because the front part is the command module uh, the rear one is the service module so you can detach them they are they are coupled together by merge blocks and you go inside through this um, through this um, airlock here as you can see um, we can close this that's the access to the cockpit and here we have the the service area so we have the survival kit and access to the containers but there's not much else like the rest of the ship, um, this is the interior, it's very small in, in interior. The, the rest of the ship is, function, is uh, all these um, functional parts. And here um, under the, the survival kit you can see the air vent. And down there, what, what is, um, at, down there is a, is a window, I can show it to you. And this here you can use it as some sort of airlock, right? So you don't lose so much oxygen when you are um, transferring from this area to the other one. Here we will lose some air and here is the, the cockpit. Yeah and here um, you can see um, the bottom part where the vent is. So that's it. This is the deep space explorer but that's <laughs> this is not the subject of this episode but i just wanted to show it to you because i i thought well i i need to get to um away from the moon and i chose this uh, vehicle but you you will find this in the in the workshop if you want it and here uh, from from the exterior you have access here to the to the generator so that's it. It has four hydrogen tanks to fuel the 
the impulse engine because everything else is um, ion thrusters so and let me show you the um, the other ship I call it the multi-purpose um, utility vehicle for a lack of a better name and this is it so at the end uh, I end up using um, these um, thrusters here that are from um, another mod this is the um, let me see those are the R uh 25 um where is this mod now um yeah this one the rs25 hydrogen thruster right it's a i thought it was a, a like a aesthetically it was um better than the vanilla hydrogen thruster or the industrial ones um, but I thought that well this may also be replaced at some point maybe I make another model with um, ion thrusters the, the issue is that of course having all these um, engines uh, consume hydrogen this one has uh, also four hydrogen tanks so yeah you can you can quickly um you can quickly run out of fuel so you have to be careful and one thing is that i'm this ship is meant to um to be uh, traveling in space and not really going to any planet or moon uh, because it has um such um yeah, it doesn't have too much power uh, to fly on, on even in, in the moon. In the, it can go to the moon, but I think um, it will spend a lot of fuel. So it's, and also you can see also in the design that it's not really meant uh, to be um, landed because uh, you get into the ship through this, um, rings right through these docking ports and yeah it's difficult if you are landed it's difficult like to to get in and get out it's not really um by design it's not meant for that it's more meant for um like flying uh, between a space station and maybe an asteroid base or something like that and at the end i solved the problems with uh, with the space here uh, at the end is a is a very um, it's mostly what i had before with the with a with this uh, node module that i did before so i'll show you so here this is the front part the interior is um Uh, by the way, these doors are from a DLC. Uh, I like it. I like them very much. So here you can see the vent, right now. Right now is um, in the the pressurization. <laughs> it's difficult to pronounce. It's the pressurizing the the the, the, the volume, right and. Um, yeah it's basically this there's not much here like i have like a, this ar armory and then um, a small um, galley here a battery and that's the other side so you we can basically go through um, the ship this is like a, an access because the, the 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 ship is meant to dock with a station and then um, people can go through this um, passages the so you will wonder how to get to the cockpit here's the, the cockpit at the top and that is done through the aft compartment that is slightly different besides having this armory that we have also in the front 
um, compartment um, we have a ladder that uh, gives us access to a, another level and here I have uh, um, the head as it's called in the ships right with a, with a shower and then there's this uh, ladder that will lead you to this uh, corridor here and it's nice because we have windows so we can look outside the ship and then we get to the um, to the cockpit and that's the way to get uh, from the the rings ah right i have um, the magnetic boots so it's kind of um, so you can come in from the rear also you can just um, go through the ship so that's that's the basic idea so this ship um, has um, hydrogen tank uh, sorry oxygen tanks so you can pressurize and depressurize the these two compartments so these two compartments can perfectly work as um, airlocks they are in fact airlocks that's that's the the, the good thing and um, at the end i don't know i think i didn't i don't know if here ah we don't have ah yes look. and here's a door because if you want to use the the the, the aft compartment as airlock it's convenient that you close this door that gives access to the corridor so there it's it's less volume to depressurize so that's it yeah usually we don't like this ship is not really uh, we don't expect to be using those compartments a lot as uh, well I will I would imagine in, a, in like if it was a real life thing you wouldn't use them that often for airlocks because you will be mostly traveling uh, to other stations that are pressurized and docking with them but of course if, if, if it's needed um, yeah, they work as um, airlocks so today what we're going to do is that we're going to build um, a cargo uh, module for this and I have something in mind and let's start building we could start by la laying the the first uh, blocks let's start with a simple block here then we can just uh, change it so the idea is to um let's see i want to have by the way i want to use here an in uh, a mod Uh, oh, I don't have it here, right? It's the interface mod. There's a nice mod. Let me see. Yeah, there's this interface mod. Um, this one that's very uh, convenient it gives you access to uh, cargo um, cargo ports as you can see from how is it like this no, like this right so we will um, have one there we'll have two of those and in the middle it's like the corridor so there are nice um, blocks that give you access to cargo um, cargo ports uh, but also it gives like a nice um, yeah it's a nice decoration and it only occupies half a, a block and then we will have two cargo but the big ones should we have them industrial? What do you think, guys? Should we 
Should we have them industrial? I, I like the industrial look. I certainly do. I'm an industrial guy. Okay, and then here we can have, uh, let's see, this block. Yeah, that, that looks just about right. And then... This is the basic thing, right? And here we can have either... Um, yeah, I think we will have like this uh, offset door. Probably is the best choice. Yeah, this one or... that one I, I particularly like this one yeah it, it, it fits uh, nicely there we go so so that down here we don't need that such a big um, thing right uh even this this uh block doesn't need it doesn't need anything in fact it doesn't need uh it doesn't need any or should we wait a second it doesn't what what i mean it, that is that it doesn't need um batteries or it it doesn't even need um, vent air vents, you know, because at the end, all it's all coming from the mothership. I mean, you can make it as autonomous as you like, but I feel that uh, for the for our current purpose, it doesn't need anything. The mothership um, does it all. Yeah, that, that looks... That looks right. It's just... Yeah, maybe what it, what it needs in the interior is some... A little bit of decoration, like at least lighting. But... Only it looks fine. So there we go. This is the basic, um... Alright, ah, it doesn't have batteries, so uh, I cannot open the door. But we could just um, slap a battery and then take it out. So here in the interior, yeah, probably we will need um, lights. Let's see, where are the lights? Do you guys also feel sometimes that you need like extra tabs? <laughs> I keep running out of um, space uh, to add um, things. Yeah, I think that's, that's enough. We don't need anything else. So now what we need is uh, the ring, the actual ring. Ah, but also we are missing something still. I will tell you what. So this is the uh, one of the rings and the other ring. Yeah, so there's a problem here, but yeah, we will fix that.
soon enough is the cargo right so yeah we ha we need to connect the the things we need to connect we need to connect the cargo um, with the rest with the rings basically we need to connect the cargo with the rings and for that we will need um, pipe pipe modules pipe modules to the rescue so probably here we will need a conveyor block right yeah right so how will be the best way to to go around this because we cannot connect it either we take it from the sides or from this other side yeah probably that's that's the best option i guess either to to take it from the front or the sides we can take it from the front Let's try this. The, the other option is to make it larger, but I think that doesn't it doesn't make uh, much sense. You know what I mean? Like to to introduce um, a conveyor in the middle. But we definitely uh, need um, connections down here. At the at the top and at the bottom at least one right one cargo thing how do we do this with this or yeah we need at least one of this or three we, we will need three yeah the issue here is that we are not going to um, we need a connection with the ring that's that's what we have here so either we introduce three of those or we um, use two of those and then the rest we handle it with uh, with the tubes right i guess we can do that so yeah let's have no wait i'm really um, i'm always looking at what side the signs yeah and then here we can just have a, a plate yeah these these um, conveyor blocks are ugly <laughs> i don't they look at the end they 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 somehow what did i do uh, i i took out the battery at the end um they don't look good i wish there was another way because this is what what um what i like about the the pipes mod is that uh, you can oh i didn't want to do that okay This is what the pipe mod does. Like it, um, it lets you replace these uh, huge cargo conveyors that they don't look good with um, with uh, blocks that are more um, aesthetically appealing, but also they are economic in the the size because look at this 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 doesn't even um occupy half a block it's just it's just a quarter i think quarter of a block high and for me that's just great so there we we um
we build those things and now what we need is another one here look at that guys that's that's elegant isn't it isn't it just have those um, cool looking paints there and yeah now we need the piping so let's see how can we solve this Yeah, we would do something like that. Uh, yeah, that looks right. And it gives it gives the your creation certain character, right? Like like um, yeah. How would we say it? like this industrial look or functional like it's not anymore like uh, minecraft is more yeah i mean in general the game is it's, it doesn't go for like uh, the minecraft look and feel but but i mean it's closer to to a real looking thing okay so what are we going to do here um Hmm. Yes, uh, what we need now is to have this is for me, this is such a part of the game, like building stuff, like solving these puzzles. And I think that's that's uh, well, they say uh, it's such a big part of the game, and they they um, recognize this, right? They need to create. Like this is the m one of the modus I would say of the game. What I would like that I I have in uh, with Interstellar Rift with this other game. What I would like is to once you build uh, the things, you can um, use them in some. You know what I mean, like like some testing, because with Interstellar Reef you design your ship, you build it, and then you use it for I don't know these missions and stuff. I know that in Space Engineers there are missions, um, but I don't know. I I I think I lack a little bit of this. Um, yeah, functional part once you you build the thing uh, you would like to use it and, and test that it works for me in part is going to to um, this testing is uh, going to survival mode and then building the actual thing there um, But beside that, like I would like some something where you say, okay, I would do this task with this ship. Uh, is this? I'm not sure that this is corresponding here. No. Ah, uh, because yeah, it can go that way. It can go that way, but it's, it's there. There's no other... Am I missing a block here? Because we have this one, but not... There's no symmetry. Oh, or we should use... Uh, probably we should use that one, right? I think that doesn't work. Because it's going to the wrong side. Ah, I know. You can just do this, right? Or not. But this is not coming in the right way. We're almost there. 
I just want to make sure that we we are doing the, the, the right thing. There. Okay, that that's it. That's it. We can just do it like that. nice so okay now it's clear what we have to do we have to do it for all other all the other blocks one thing would be to create missions where you are given a particular ship to, to complete them and you can select one of your creations to to do that the mission that would be i don't know that that could be some starting point you know like like the scenarios right well we have already scenarios but i think you cannot choose your your own creations as starting chips so that would be cool like you could have uh, missions I mean, if you have your own server, probably you can do that. But it will be cool that you could um, create scenarios and then also um, set uh, your own creations as the starting ship. Like the, you're giving that ship to, or or that base and that ship, or. or anything um, to complete the, the task to complete the mission so yeah basically this is it this is the the, the, the this is the cargo module. Yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, it's simple, but it's functional. So, oh, wait a second. This uh, door here is, this ring is upside down, right? I mean, yeah, I know in space there's no up or down, but it bothers me that this is uh, not facing the right there this is how it should be so we should test and this also upside down it cannot be I could place some little decoration, I don't want to spend much time on it because of course we can do this um, later but I, oh no this is too big no probably what I would do is to, yeah maybe I, I will decorate this further but not now um, this is the basic design, it's a very basic design And if this works, let's just test something again with the battery. And that is that I have access to the whole ship. Yeah. To the industrial containers, as you can see. Nice. Okay, that's it, guys.
that's that's the the design we have and it looks right and i would um now the final test by the way guys one important thing because i'm using the um, industrial thrusters sorry the offset thrusters uh, a mod that um, as you know it um, applies the, the torque at the point of the thruster because vanilla um, uh, space engineers places uh, the all the the forces in the center of mass of the ship but there's uh, with this mod you can introduce that offset and let's display the um, here in the info you can show center of mass just to show you guys uh, that the center of mass here is where is conveniently placed right in this point so for example if i close this door i want the center of mass to be aligned with this axis uh, going through this um, door because all the thrusters are equally then um, it, they have an equal distance to the to that axis and that's what you want when you have this offset right so basically as you can see it's um, aligned well the ship has a horizontal symmetry is asymmetrical in the vertical um, axis but the, the the center of mass is just it's all the thrusters are um, are separated by an equal distance to that axis so the axis goes just through the center of the of the ring and this um, thruster is, is equally separated uh, to that axis as this one and this one as that one and so on and that's the idea uh, when you have uh, this mod the, the idea is that you you can get that and we will need a camera well we don't need a camera really well one challenge is that yeah one challenge is that the since the ring since this can rotate a challenge would be that the that this module will will not be aligned to the rest of the ship like you know that it can be tilted sideways we can fix that by using um, let's see by using um, magnetic plates but for now let's just uh, try to Let's just try to um, engage here. Couple the two parts. This is of course tricky. This is the tricky part. But you see here that we can always be um, We can always be tilted. So I want to uh, put all these connectors in one group and turn them on and off. Where are the other ones? The three, the four. 
I just see the two. Ah, strange. Okay. So. Yes, I, I just want to have them. So we can turn them on and off. Uh, in the meanwhile. Yeah. As we as we um, align the ship and stuff, then we can just correct the the tilt. So let's first uh, turn them off. They are off for now because I don't want them to be like. Um, interfering so as you can see it's just the right uh, size it's just the size it cannot be um, it's very precise here okay I think it's basically we're good There we are. It's locked. Ah, but only... Oh, look. Only one of them. Okay. It's only one of them. It seems that... Uh, Let's turn them off again. And on again. Oh, there seems to be there. A problem. Yeah, only one. Only. Um, one of the rings is, is um, engaged and the other one is not it's because they are too tight oh that's bad Now neither of those are. Okay, this is very tricky. I didn't expect this though. So only like the the, the issue is. I think the issue is that the size is so um, what's it called so constrained that we cannot we cannot um, couple but there is a possible solution to this let me see if we can um, do that Let's um, just delete this and let's place it again. One possible solution is with a merge block because the, the, the problem, why, the reason why we cannot um, merge is because the distance is very close. So we need a merge block. The question is, where is this merge block going to be? So with a merge block, what we can we can make sure of is that it doesn't um, like like it's in the exact 
position to to engage well we could do it with a merge block or with a connector ah that also could be but i wonder if what's better here no like this no definitely not okay that that was um unexpected but this is how design works and uh, the problem is that this i think this won't work at the end is, is it too high here because this one would be there well we need to get rid of that for the moment the right size no I don't think so let's let's put it because I think it won't work like that but let's put it here maybe the the magnetic um, like magnetically it will um, try to couple there and let's add this connector to the to the to the action bar as well. Oof, I don't know if this will work. But let's try it. Otherwise, um, we need like a merge block, but the problem is uh, the distance. Let's see. We will solve it. It's a um, minor offset. Okay, so there we go. It will try, as we get closer, it will try to connect. No, it's too far away. Ah, no, and the other thing is that... Wait. The other thing is that this... Um, it doesn't have a battery. Hmm. It doesn't have a battery and this the effect is that let's put a temporal yeah this makes it uh, this make it difficult to couple the ship it's not like the you know the like the lunar transporter or the eagle transporter that it's uh, fairly easy to do So there we uh, we have we have now um, power. Let's see if we can do this again. It's so tight, the problem is that it's very very tight. But the issue is that if we we have no other choice, we cannot like um, leave any room there. There, you see? Now it's... Okay, I think this is as good as it gets. What do you think? Because now it's like aligned with the... Uh, with, uh
with the with the top one if we turn on oh look it it couples with the with the top and the side but not the other one okay oh that's a pity Look, this 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 one should ah. Let me try something. Could it be that by just controlling here, maybe it's simpler than I thought? Where is this the connectors passageway? Some of them are. It's not locked. This is not locked. Alright, ah, we have the, the, the... This one is locked. Used for parking. Used for parking. I don't know what, the, what the, that is. But if we go here and lock... What happens? Nothing. Trading mode. Okay. No, for some reason, I don't know what the issue is. I don't know if it's something of the mod itself. Let's see the connectors here. This one. It's not a. This one is uh, able to lock. Okay, yeah, no, this is the, the top one. And then we have this one and this other one. Ah, but it seems... Okay. It seems like... It's somehow locked, but I don't see anything here. So curious. And I, I'm not sure what, what it's this used for parking thing. Maybe it has also to, um, to do with the parking. I don't know. Yeah, but both are parked. Strange. This one I cannot. Yeah, it's like not responding. Okay. Let's see what happens inside. If we... Let's close here. Let's close here and let's... Um, this one is closed. And let's put this... Um, and look! Yeah, this is what I wanted to see. Yeah, it's not airtight. You saw that not really airtight this one is not airtight so it, it, it looks like if this was not of course if we close it it's so curious 
If we close the door, it also is not um, airtight. But if we close this one, this is airtight. Ah, huh, curious. Okay. And what's up with this one? Control. Uh... Yeah, it's. Strange. This one looks as if if it were locked, but it's not. Connector strength when aligning GPU colors. Smaller strength of two connectors is used. Okay, it could be that uh, zero point fifteen percent in this one. No way. The same. Maybe if we uh, change that value, <coughs> and when we go here, what happens? This is ah. Uh, these lights indicate that they are locked. And the trading mode is off. Trading mode is off. Okay. Okay, now what I want to test, for example, if we close this door, what happens with the air vent? Oh, it's also not airtight. Oh, that's a pity. Okay, so they are not airtight. I thought that when they were connected, uh, this airtightness will... Um, okay, but now I learned something else. I learned that you cannot have airtightness. Because I was hoping that all these uh, sections will be airtight one day, once they were connected. Okay, so that's that's interesting. Like I would expect this um, this uh, mod to let me do that, like to be able to connect to two docking ring in this way, and then all the space in the interior will be airtight. But unfortunately, that's not the case. It doesn't work like that. Okay, we learn also this. Let's also. Um, I don't know if this uh, mod is uh, being um, developed currently. Oh, wait a second. But I really would like that, um, yeah, to have this. Ah, of course, it's not airtight because of this. Of course. Oh, that's silly of me. Okay, let's let's make this test again. Yeah, it will never be airtight like that. This blocks prevents the airtightness. So we had this one. So again, let's test. Is this airtight? This one is not, but I've opened this door. If I close this, if I close that door, I would expect this to be airtight. But it's not, okay, it's not. So that would mean that you would need, um, yeah, you would need, um, You will need air, air vents all around. So now it's airtight. When I open the door, it escapes. Yep, that's how it is. Oh, that's a pity. What can I tell you? 
that's a pity okay now the other test is how does this uh, how is this working when we try to fly with it let's see No, and look now <laughs> now both I just had to um, move it a little bit <laughs> now the both are well that is uh, something right there I, ca I, I have to say it's difficult to um, It's difficult to get the thing um, working. Oh no. I destroyed my creation here. So, which one was this? This is a light. Okay, this is a window. Okay, at least we have that, but I'm really um, disappointed by the fact that we cannot we cannot have the air tightness because this was like a like a really big feature for me. If it was airtight, then that was a solution to a long-standing problem because this uh, of course I cannot probably it doesn't let me. Okay, not a problem. But very nice. Ah, what I wanted to do is I wanted to remove that battery there. Yeah, I really wanted this air tightness because this is the issue with all the transporters. The transporter you can have um, air tightness in um, like in a um, compartment at a time. But you cannot go from one end of the transporter to the other unless you, um, yeah, unless you, you have this um, passage through empty space. And, and this design here is more like the, like the Space 1999 TV series original idea, like you would have always these um, components um, uh, coupling with a, with a ship in such a way that you had air tightness or all ac across because this is a huge issue in space, right? Okay, but let's test it. Yeah, it handles pretty good here. Let's mark this place because I know that here we have uh, the Deep Space Explorer. So we don't forget it. And let's head to, to the moon. To the moon base. By the way, I don't know how much, well, I have little hydrogen, so I, I'm not sure that this will, um, this will, this hydrogen will last enough to get to the base, because this thing really eats uh, the hydrogen. But you can see it there. So for me, this will be like um, a cargo ship. 
right? Let's say you are starting a career and you want to um, to start as a, a holder, right? You want you want to haul cargo around the solar system. You will start in a ship like this. What do you think? kind of bulky and yeah chubby at the same time I'm fine without the dampers so that means that I'm also testing the we should look at it like the center of mass well, the center of mass is not displayed like every um, external structure or connected structure has its own um, center of mass so it's not very useful if I, because I would like to, to see the overall center of mass. There's the base. But you can see when, when you are not using dampeners, the fuel usage is efficient. So that's also a reason why not to you are going to be mainly uh, flying in space. You don't need uh, so much ion thrusters. This, um, the other thing is that this ship doesn't have landing gear. And um, I didn't... Yeah, at the end I didn't add the, the landing gear because yeah, the, the landing gears will add extra weight, will move the center of mass. Of course, you can always um, what's called you can always um, add like a counterweight, so you, you move the center of mass again to to the place you want to it to be but um, yeah but it doesn't make much sense well here I, I am like trying to land the ship so <laughs> yeah, whatever but I mean this is just a test it's not how it's meant to, to work but we can add at some point we can add something at least some plates oops I crashed. I crashed the ship. Oh, but it's not. It's okay. Everything is okay. I just need to. Yeah. I need like a stone of view for this. There we go. I'm landing with a <laughs> with a gyros. Well, that's it, guys. We landed. This is the multi-purpose. Um, utility vehicle. I, it will be also in the in the in Steam Workshop. 
Okay, guys, look, uh, we run out of fuel now. It's out of fuel. You see that the, the thrusters are not working. Okay, guys, so um, hope you like the video. Hope to see you in the next one. This is Cyber Settler signing off.